Time for the 49ers Rush Podcast. Manning the first team. I don't expect to be there the entire season. Um, is Darquez Denard, former first round pick, 2014 draft, same uh, draft as D4, Jimmy Ward, all that stuff. We talked about that a few episodes ago. But here's Talano Hufanga, um, who's somebody that I, I really, really respect. Um, his awareness for the situation around him is incredible. He was asked, this is a few days ago, he was asked about what it was like when Denard first stepped on the team, Darquez Denard. He was brought off the street for that Week 17 game, and I think this is very, very telling. I think the when he came in for the practices, I still remember him coming in, and um, I think he practiced like twice that week. or I don't even, I can't, the specifics, but I remember he came in and like, he learned the defense overnight, and, and it was kind of crazy because I was like, how can you do it so quick and just go out on the field? And I was like, that's that's what the NFL is all about. You know, it's a, a league that is the highest at the highest. And so watching him come in and just do his job like that, it was pretty incredible. And it didn't go unnoticed in our room. So we definitely uh, praised him for that, for sure. Now, it, that was an interesting game because that was you lose, you go home. That was week 17 against the Rams. You know, the Saints won. You lose, you go home. Had a couple injuries. You had all the COVID stuff, and he stepped in and just went nuts. Yeah, I'm with you, Taryn, or Terror Dome. Yeah, 100%. Huff, gonna he's going to break out this year. I'm excited about that. Um, really excited about Huff, but I want to stick on Denard because then Kyle Shanahan was asked a similar question about the same thing, Dark West Denard, and he detailed it very, very well. I love the memory on freaking Kyle Shanahan. He remembers things very, very well. I'm impressed. I mean, you're talking about the last game of the year? Yeah. Yeah, that – um, that was extremely impressive. I remember that, that whole week, you know, we had a bunch of guys out, um, guys were getting sick and stuff and some guys hurt. And I remember that Sunday morning we were hoping to get four guys back that we thought we would, we knew it was going to be 50, 50, but we were thinking positively and we found out we didn't get any of those four. Um, so we had to bring guys in and play that hadn't played before. And it was just, we didn't know. I mean, we gave Denard as much as the reps as we could, but you just hope he's on it and planning on it and working away from us as much as he can. And he got out there for 18 reps and they all say they do, but you really know when you see him out there and um, he showed us he's a guy we can count on a guy we can trust. And so building that chemistry, trust, reliability, you know, awareness, understanding of the defense in such a short time, week 17, or sorry, I think it was week 18. It was the seventh. Yeah, that's right. There we go. Um, anyway, it was big. It was really, really big, and it left a lasting impression. And so I, he's going to get first crack at this. There's no doubt. He's got the athleticism. He's got the experience. He's got all those things. Can he perform? Now, the good news about this slot corner role, it's not just up to him. You go out and you draft rookie Samuel Womack. That's who I would probably expect to be the starting corner, slot corner um, towards the end of the season. Similar trajectory as Ambry Thomas. Sit, learn. We got a veteran in front of you. If he can't perform, we'll allow you to do that. He's been taking the number two. 